guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of, really, I mean, season two. Can we, no, you know what we're gonna call this? The series finale of Love, Tuna Boyo, and Other Delusions. I mean, honestly, I kind of believe we're here. I think we, we honestly really got through this fairly quickly. I mean, yeah, it's two episodes and stuff, so, but... I was expecting this, like, I, I wanted, I mean, this was, like, just as long as K-On, if not longer, but, I mean, I'm sad. We still have, like, one more thing to go, and that's the movie, but, oh, I don't want to say goodbye to these kids yet, but, other than that, let's go ahead and start, uh, get started with episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh, what'd she say? Yeah, you might have to take a bit of that. Yeah, she could just have a stomach ache. Of course. Oh. Me in the morning, especially when my mom comes and turns on this late. And I hate this light because it's too freaking bright. He's so cute. <laughs> ah, I don't want this show to be over. Like, oh my god, this show was just so good. I mean, if I had to rate it, like, it, it is up there, like, for my top favorites because, I mean... It's Kill Annie. This might have to be like in my top favorite Kill Annie. Uh, can't uh, I can't speak Kill Annie shows. I mean, oh, because like my number one, it was between Hadahi and Sound Euphoria. Like, cause every single time they were battling, like, battling out, because the first one I saw was freaking Sound. That's not Euphoria. Hadahi. Everybody saw how to he, you know, that was their first Kill Annie um, anime introduction to it. Or, um, I think it's Full Metal Panic, I believe. That's what they did. I would have to go look. But there are a couple others that I still want to watch. The one, Tomical Market, uh, the one with the cast that works at Disney World technically like they're they're in a disney and i think there's one more i just can't think of it right now no i've seen planet and i would never watch Planet again <laughs> but there's one i can't think of it right now it, it's like on the tip of my tongue i just don't remember the name I know, right? That's just because she's just trying to change herself. <laughs> oh my god, what happened to you? No, 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 <laughs> no. He must have stayed in the sun way too long. And that's why they say it is super duper important to wear sunscreen. You would think as me as someone with my skin tone, we shouldn't be, we're, we're okay. But no, we still need to wear sunscreen when we're going out. No, no. <laughs> oh, my throat. <laughs> uh.
Mm. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Oh. <laughs> of course she is. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, you two are worse than Johanne and Diane from Love Life Sunshine. Like, oh. Like marriage? But uh, that's the only thing you can automatically assume to. That or sorry. No, it's okay. You both have dirty minds. I think almost everybody has dirty minds. <laughs> I don't think it'll be really that. Oh, okay. Kissing. That's fine. Because I don't really think we can just bring all that. She hasn't gotten up or gone outside or anything. I mean, if she has an upset stomach, I mean, try taking her out. Therapy. It's, you know, till today, it still, like, confuses the heck out of me. That people have leashes for cats, and I'm like, what? It might be raining until six, so I'm just working. <laughs> I mean, mm, poor baby. <laughs> uh Oh, Mika. No, it's just written all over your face. <laughs>
But you want to tell them that you're in love with cumin? <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, look, at least look, 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 at least it's someone who likes you. Come on now. Hmm? Oh! <laughs> The Yowie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, someone's gonna get the flower tonight. Oh my god. Not this week, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. No running. Besides, you've already technically kissed him before, even though it's on the cheek. But you can do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And since you did that, you can literally do anything. Yes. Listen to Soap. Yeah, you guys need to hurry up and hide. Shit.
Give me the lemon. <laughs> we got a nervous baby and a dense boy, and I love it. Mm. You were so good. It was mean. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Rika. Oh. Oh, honey. It's okay to be scared, though. And one day you will be ready to kiss him. Right on them fucking lips. I mean, goddamn, he is so fucking. Oh my god, I love him so much.
Damn it. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, uh, six. Oh, God. Hmm? Well, you know, like I said, there's always the OVA and then the movie. human <laughs> no. that was sweet okay we're gonna have to go ahead and just do final thoughts on this okay so final thoughts on this show overall even though i haven't seen the ova yet I really truly love this show. I loved it for what it was. The relationship of Rika and Yuta, but now it makes me wonder what is the OVA going to hold for us? And same thing with the movie. Like, how are we going to see what in the world they're going to be doing next in relationship? I mean, just like, the fact is that you know, she kissed him on this, she can get it, and I'm like, oh my god. Like, that gives me so much hope for love and why I love love so much. And just like, hmm. What a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Boyfriend. Mm -hmm. But, oh, God. This is why I love anime so much. Like, it's so much better. Like, see, as someone who likes movies, I'm a horror freak at the end of the day. I love to watch horror movies. Those are my, big, like, favorite things. But as someone who also likes to watch romance, whether it's just romance, romance itself, or romantic comedies, and how the tension, whether it's regular or sexual, you can just feel that. Like, with anime, it's so different. And that's why, like, everyone's like, yes, love and anime is, like, kind of so much better than the freaking TVs or movies and such. Because, oh, it's just so good. Like, oh, that was just a cute way to end the show. I mean, let, let's talk about the yaoi up in this episode. I was not expecting that. I mean, I thought Chihiru was a girl for a moment. And then this guy come in. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're good looking. Like, damn, who are you? And then it just, like... I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> that is so cute. It makes you wonder with him, like, what else happened? <laughs> because he still hasn't said anything else than Cuban. I mean, because Cuban, I love Cuban so much. She's just so freaking dense, but I love her not as dense as, like, a youth of dense. But the fact is that, like, still, she's so fucking adorable. And she's literally probably, like, best girl for me, no matter what. But this show was really, really good, and I hate the fact that, you know, going into the OVA, it's the last thing that, you know, for the 26 episode series that I'll be able to watch, but then after that, I have the movie, and once the movie is over, that's it. I'm done with the show, and it's like, it is literally giving me those feels that I had when I was watching K-On! for the first time, and when I finished like the a last not the last official episode but the last episode ending before the OVAs like I was a hot mess and I was just like you know through 20 something episodes I fell in love with these characters I related to these characters their ins their outs their happy uh, moments their sad moments their moments where they got angry over something you know funny moments ish like that and just you know having that like, just that last song that they sing to my best freaking girl. Like, oh my god. No matter how many times I freaking listen to it. Because, like, I think it was last year around the time when I finished it. We had, like, a really bad hurricane here in Florida. Um, and I was at my aunt's house. And so I had my headphones on. And I was like, you know what? I haven't heard this song in a while. I'm going to listen to it. 
I was like two minutes in and I'm crying my butt off to the point where my mom and my aunt were like, are you okay? Why are you crying? And I'm like, it's just a song I'm listening to. But like that emotion and rawness, like I felt this a lot with this show, except with the fact with the singing, there was really no singing in this. I really would have wanted to hear Rika's VA to sing because I mean, her, her VA is an amazing singer. I'm just saying like, come on. That's why she plays Ronco and I don't ask her. I'm just saying, but I mean, it would have been nice, but yeah, like just, there was a lot of like really sad, happy, um, moments to cry at or just to tear up at and that's what I really love about Kyo Annie because no matter what they take you on a roller coaster of emotions and you know it's amazing and I freaking love it but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the OVA all right episode 13 and three two one go <laughs> Oh my god, are you still- <laughs> I can't! <laughs> you know what? Whatever it is, it's very important. It could be- so He could be surprising you for something. Maybe like... Your one year anniversary. Well, okay, maybe it's just something important. Like I said, it could be a surprise. He doesn't want Rika to find out so early on. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, but yeah, you're, you're not going to know until you open it up. <laughs> I 
I mean, it's a very smart word to bring up, but I, I don't think you use it. <laughs> okay, then what's on in it? Go ahead and click on one. Pictures? <laughs> Just the, it's the same girl. Oh. I that's fine. Yeah, I mean, he's right about that. He doesn't have to tell you guys everything. I can't imagine if this, was, if this got dubbed. I don't think it got dubbed anyway. I think they skipped both OVAs. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, I mean, that should be fine, though. Well, yeah. I mean, th <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're not wrong about that. They're just being honest. Oh no, we had like a <laughs> So is it no canon that Lelouch joke? <laughs> like, <I don't... sighs> you know what? That makes so much sense. Why? Because P5 freaking resave But honestly, I get how she feels because, I mean, <laughs> I would have felt the same way. I mean, most of these guys that I watch on TikTok, like, they put videos on, you know, hey, if you got a girl and she watches anime, like, you can't compete. <laughs>
See, this is a Catherine S. <laughs> Oh god, what are you gonna do about? Oh, woo, fuck. <laughs> oh god. No, Bobby! You would think he would have a password on his computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he does have a porno magazine on there. <laughs> oh. He's so sweet, oh my god. No, oh, hi, Jeannie. <gasps> Why would you think that? <laughs> mm, oh my god, damn. <laughs> Exactly, and that's an invasion of privacy. You shouldn't do that in a relationship. Well, he did, but freaking... <laughs> okay, we need to have an intervention with this couple and just, like, lay it out. Mm. Huh. Because she has the right to butt in. I mean, honestly, you two are fighting over something. Mm, it, it is a little stupid, but not, I mean, typically all couples have this argument, but still. But still, it doesn't solve the predicament. Yeah, but see, they don't know that he gave it back to you, but still, you still had it. If you would have gave it back to him, we wouldn't be in this situation. Oh. 
Oh, you're right about that. He looks so good. Oh my god. Like, mm, the Joker feels like, oh my god. <laughs> hey. Oh. And this might never get sold, though. Because neither one of them are going to let go. And they're not going to let down. Wait, hold on, y'all got a can- <laughs> Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the baby, he's so cute. Yeah, I mean, aren't you worried about her? Yes, even though y'all are in a fight. I know, I mean, come on, man. Like, you would think you would want to go out and look for her or at least call her. And ask if she's okay, even if you are in a fight. No, 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 that's not it. Thank you. Then you go apologize, and if you apologize, I'll apologize to you too. Mm -hmm. 
Eu calmo. One step forward and then a bajillion steps back. Oh, but you are. so much show uh i just i want to go ahead and watch the movie but i can't watch the movie today because i still got like two more things to do today before tomorrow so i might not be able to watch it until like this weekend so preferably sad sunday but this was a good ova i actually liked the initiation of this fight honestly because i mean we typically in regular old tv shows like fights are <laughs> tracked on either maybe for an episode or two, or three, or four, or ten, mm -hmm. ten episodes, which is a little too much, but, I mean, this is something that they really needed to go through. They technically went through a couple of fights, but not, like, something like this, where it's the invasion of privacy, you know, the trust, like, do you really trust someone even when they said, hey, I'm going to return this, and in the end, they do, but then, the end, at the same time, like, they don't, but it happens to all of us, especially when are in a relationship with a guy or a girl or if you're in a friendship with someone and you value that friendship with someone and once they value or not really value screw up or break that trust how do you how are you able to trust them again? you know really honestly think about that but i'm glad that they were able to get through their you know little predicament it was cute you could see them was like just do a couple of cutesy couple things together. Like, oh God, I still say like my favorite episode for them as a couple was them going on the aquarium date. That was like the cutest freaking date ever. I mean, I, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. I want to go on an aquarium date. But see, here in Florida, we have a zoo. As I said once before, and I'll say it again, we got a zoo. I think we have an aquarium section, but we have a zoo. And um, I haven't been to the zoo since... Third grade, mm -hmm. second, third grade before I moved, but <laughs> I don't know how it looks. I don't even know if it looks the same, but I really want to go to the zoo at this time of the pandemic. Probably not. Maybe once officially when this is over, either that's me. Like if I want to take a trip down the lane or like go with someone who I care about, whether it's a friend or like future person, whoever. I mean, I think it'd be nice to have like that aquarium date in this episode. We're probably just like the best moments for them. Everything in season one was, like, 
phenomenal, especially that last episode of season one, episode 12 of season one, which is like, ah, uh, but then season, <laughs> season one's okay. Oh my God. Like, hmm. So, I mean, big things that I'm hoping for in the movie, um, since we've seen them kiss each other on the cheek from both sides, biggest thing is I do want to kiss just mm, to just like wrap that up in a nice neat bow hopefully Soph does make an appearance because it would be really weird for her to be introduced into this second season we just finished season two and all I have left is the movie and she's nowhere to be found because I'm not gonna say that I don't think it's this movie is gonna be a filler-esque episode movie type thing I think it's going to be like a direct sequel to both season one and season two of this show but if she doesn't show up, I'll be hella pissed. I mean, yes, you have my best girl Shinka, my best girl Cumin, Dekomadia, even in there too. But if she does not show up, it's just going to feel weird to me. And, I, and I've always felt like that with some movies that I've seen for other animes where they don't personally have some of the characters that are in the series at that point. And so I'm like, well, damn, this is just a filler ass movie. So how can I be happy about now all my characters being on, my favorite characters being on screen, you know, but I ain't going to know until I watch it. Preferably Saturday, I'm about to say Saturday again, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. But let me go ahead and say this as well. All right. So since the movie is about, I want to say at least two hours, if not, maybe like an hour, an hour to 30 minutes, maybe two hours at max. Um, and this is for everybody, not just Patreons. This is going to possibly take me, I need like a couple of days, number one. Because the fact is, it, it's going to take me a little while. It has to be a day where I am not recording that much so that I can get it all done in like one freaking take. Where even though she might want to do something with me or I may have to do something but I don't want to be like, oh, snap, like, it's whatever day it is of the week, and I'm rushing to get it done. And I know a lot of people, Patreons and non-Patreons, are really wanting me to see this film. So, yeah, give me, today is like, what? Today's the second. Um, if I record on Sunday, I, I probably should be able to get it by su done by Sunday. But if not, like, I may postpone it to the following week. I'm not really 100% sure, but we'll see but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards really season or not even season one season two the entire series of love to boy and other delusions if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next time for patreons and <laughs> next time <laughs> the following monday whenever that will be for everybody else for the film until then i will see you guys all next time bye